Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Thanks for tuning in. This channel is all about knuckle boom cranes, loader cranes and uh, motorcycles. And uh, since the motorcycle season hasn't really kicked off yet, we'll uh, make another loader crane video. Today I want to show you uh, the differences between uh, fly jibs on effer cranes and uh, how to connect them using uh, the multifaster hydraulic coupling. Very good and easy system. We have two of our uh, fly jibs out there. One is mine and the other one belongs to uh, uh, one of our FR 955s cranes. So uh, let's go check it out. So this fly jib is mine, uh, my crane is an 8, FR1550 8S, 8 hydraulic extensions and therefore we have this type of connector with two pins instead of that one who belongs to our 955 with uh, 6 extensions, FR1955 6S, it has that uh, Construction instead. I don't actually know why exactly they are different, but I know all cranes, all effort cranes who have more than six extensions have this type because it saves some space and uh, it would uh, stick out from the side of the truck when it's folded behind the cab otherwise. So uh, yeah, let's fire it up and uh, hook up the fly jib. you have to take the big hook off very easy Of course, you have to position your truck in the somewhat right position. It's easier to connect the flight jib that way, if it lines up with the crane. So we do like this, just line it up. Now this is an older crane, so I don't have to shut down all the systems before I hook up the uh, hydraulics and electrics. This is the multifaster hydraulic coupling. It's a really good piece of kit. It connects two, from two up to eight hydraulic couplings and even, if you want, integrated electrics with just one lever. I have four hydraulic hoses, two for the fly jib up and down and two for the extensions. And uh, some electric for uh, pressure sensors and angle sensors. It's really easy, uh, just remember to keep it clean. They don't fail a lot 
if you keep them clean. That's the most important thing. It has a uh, protective cover, which you just lift up, line up the guiding pins like that, and just pull the lever. No leaks, no nothing. Just one go. And uh, the electronics, keep it clean. Hook it up, and this one's for the work light. And we're good. Start the remote again. And now we can operate the flight jib. Okay, it's not exactly uh, lined up. I have to push it a little. go Some small adjustments and some uh, yeah hold your ears So, this one usually goes in pretty easy, like I said, small adjustments, we can lift it a little, there you go, install these safety pins, there are three, one like so. That. and this fiddly one it's good I have small hands and that's it we're done This fly jib also has the uh, some extra hydraulics on the fly jib to be able to run a uh, grapple hook or a clamshell bucket. I don't have that fancy stuff. Yeah, that's it. I'm gonna grease the extensions a little. Uh, maybe scrape off some uh, excess grease. And, uh, and we're good. So that's a short uh, tutorial how to hook it up on this older crane model. Uh, it's 2008 crane. I, uh, guess there are a lot more electronics on the later ones. Uh, I have a lot more uh, sensors and, uh, and stuff. But yeah. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let's shut this down. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know if there Anything else you would like to know about loader cranes? Uh, I'll try to answer as best as I can. 
and uh, yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye